When it comes to weddings, everyone wants the perfect day. But unless you have unlimited funds, it's I do, but at what cost? This is the one I like. I don't like it at all. But this is the one I picked. I found a dress. Okay. It's a little bit more. Uh, I just don't have time for this right now. I just want to get back to work. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And what is the price difference? Uh, $600. You were going to spend $600 on set? <laughs> no. <laughs> We agreed that this was the budget we were spending, but now all of a sudden we're over, 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 and over, and over, over, over. Weddings are a bride who's a beauty to behold. Weddings are a glass that is unbearably cold. Weddings are bills that can multiply twofold. Meet newlyweds Funda and Spiro. Getting their wedding day right meant honoring some important cultural traditions. Let's follow along and see if this epic wedding made history of their savings. My name is Funda and I'm a 26-year-old investment representative. I met Spiro, a general contractor, six years ago at a friend's wedding. We became inseparable eight months later when we exchanged phone numbers at a party. This is a story of how I didn't let a little thing like budget get in the way of planning my dream wedding. My wedding day was everything I hoped it would be. From the moment I got up through the entire day, right up until the end, everything was perfect. I think it was pretty much perfect. They may describe their wedding as pretty much perfect, but some of the negotiations along the way were not a pretty sight. Let's turn back time and see if this indecisive bride can get everything she wants and still slip in under budget. I think what I wanted the most from David was to make sure that the day ran smoothly. I needed someone that I could trust because I couldn't oversee everything and I'm a little bit... Uh, obsessive like that. Meet wedding planner David Connolly. Will his 15 years of experience and endless optimism be enough to keep this obsessive bride and her penny-pinching groom under budget? My role as a wedding planner is to take the vision of the couple, no matter what it is, no matter how unrealistic it is, no matter how crazy it is, and make it come true. Congratulations. Thank you. We're getting Thank married. You. I'm so happy to be working with you guys, so I want to make sure that your vision becomes my vision, so as much detail as possible is going to make it uh, better for everybody, okay? okay? So let's start with the big picture. Where is the vision for your day? Big picture, um, definitely not okay. the princess theme. So that's what you don't want? Maybe something like classy, more elegant, uh, maybe a little regal as opposed to princessy. So it's formal? Very, very formal. formal, yes. Yeah. Very formal. Yeah. Right. <laughs> that was two people saying very formal at the yeah. same time to me. That means I better write that we down. We want very for, like <laughs> formal. We want elegant. We want class. Uh, we want it to look. We want that wow factor when you come into the venue. The overall decor of the hall, the arrangements, the linen, that sort of thing, it's very important to me. I want to be floored, you know? OK. What about the guest list? It's going to be a large wedding, okay. probably about 350 people. Ooh. We have a pretty big bridal party as well. We're looking at about 20 people. That's a lot of people. Yeah. And what are your traditions? Where are you from? Sp Spiro's actually Greek and I'm Turkish. OK. And we did want to incorporate a little bit of each culture somehow. Okay. Um, Maybe by uh, food, dance, music. Well, music, of course. Oh, also very important. <laughs> <laughs> also Forgot vital. Just so, a whole yeah. list of vital. So the vital. key word in planning our wedding is very important. Okay, V-I-W, very important wedding. I think my biggest uh, source of stress for planning the wedding is going to be making decisions on everything. That is probably going to be a major challenge for me. Describe the venue to me. Uh, chandeliers, dome ceilings, uh, detail, very lot of detail detailing. in the ceilings. Okay. Uh, the colors are, are, are natural browns and uh, more earth, earth tones. tones. Okay, so it looks like a palace ballroom. More or less. Ballroom. Yeah, like a, yeah. Ball, like a like grand a ball, ballroom. Ball yeah. Okay, who's paying? Well, we are blessed. Our, our parents are actually covering the, the venue. So, so we're very wow. fortunate to have parents that will. We're lucky in that food and beverage. Absolutely. Food and beverage. Yeah. Open bar for the yeah, wedding. Yeah, yeah, deluxe bar. They so. have that covered for us. That's, That's 50%. Yeah. Yeah. That's half. And then right the rest away, of the gone. money comes from... Us. 
the magical tree in the backyard. Okay. The and money have you sorted tree. out the how that's going to happen and who's going to be in charge and basically I well, give Funda a budget yeah. to work with, and uh, we stay within that budget. So yeah. we'll make her happy. We'll make me Just happy. remember, honey, this is everything that you want. Mm, but at a, at a certain cost. My cost and, and your cost could be completely different. Me and Funda more or less are on the same page, but I know Funda can sometimes take it to the next level and. Sometimes she's just gonna need to pull back a little bit, but uh, more or less she has an understanding of what I want. There's a line item that, that equals about 10% of your budget, usually that includes all the attire, it includes the dress and the suit and the shoes and the hair and the makeup and all that, so where are we with that? I haven't really selected anything yet. Like, I, I don't want the queen dress with the... Right, we're not you know doing what I like, mean? A, like I don't mm, wanna... a high school prom. Mm. Yeah. Right, okay, so you want it to be contemporary, but in a really elegant What way. you'll find, David, is Funda loves to change her mind a lot. So you're going to get ready for some surprises, last minute changes. Oh, is that true? Well, yeah. not last minute. Well, I wouldn't make last minute changes. More or less last minute. OK, as long as we set some um, schedule, timeline, deadlines. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yeah. So that we can change our mind as many times as we want. Deadlines until, are good. Up until we need to make decisions for you know, vendors have to order things. And right. if you change your mind after a certain day, then you start to pay the price. I think you're seeing a very opulent, luxurious, royal, adult, contemporary style. Mm -hmm. Within that, your culture is very important. And part of that culture is your family, which means our numbers are very big. Having said all that, what have you got for your budget? Remember, it's I do, but at what cost? I... Yeah, we're gonna get married. <laughs> Coming up. What do you think, honey? I don't know. This is worse than shopping for shoes. She just can't make up her mind about anything. Sharon asked me to marry her. Uh, I'd like to correct that. Uh, he wrote a letter to my parents asking them uh, for my hand in marriage. So I'd like to know who asked who then. When it comes to planning a wedding, it's important to remember it's all about quality, not quantity. It's going to be a large wedding. Okay. Probably about 350 people. Ooh. That's a lot of people. Yeah. And at the end of the show, we'll reveal if this couple's budget had the capacity to make this big wedding grand. The look of the room was definitely very important. And because of that, I didn't want to, you know, go cheap. Hey! Hi. It's <laughs> Linden Day! Yay. I feel like there's something <laughs> crazy. Laundry, come on back here. OK, so we've got lots of options. The thing is not to think about things too much. Just don't think. What's the instinct? You know what I mean? What instinctively says yes, then we'll talk about money later. Let's pretend money's not an option and just see okay. what you like. We're going to start with number one, which is the one you picked. This is the one we picked right here. Yeah. Yes or no? No. 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 But a bing, but a boom. Yes, mom? Did you no, love no, it? No, no, no. No, 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 no. no. Okay, good. But I'm really glad we saw that in the hall because that's just awful. Because this probably looked good it in did. the showroom. It did. In sure. here, it makes no sense. Do you know what I mean? Cinnamon is not in our palette anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Buy cinnamon. Gone. This is so kind of a champagne soon. crinkle toast, OK? I like this one, babes. And what I do you think, decisions. I think I want to see other options. <laughs> okay. OK, let's see so, the other options. So this is a gold brocade. Yes or no? Mm, Don't like it at all. No. Mom, has to no. go. Give me some love. Oh, and the taste, to police. <laughs> it would be right somewhere. It's not right here. This is a gold satin. It's got a really nice sheen. Again, we're not going to talk about money yet. We're just going to talk about taste. I would like to have a say and say, I love this one. I think I like this. OK. I'm actually liking this one. This is the one I like. I don't like it at all. OK, so we're not going to choose this one. <laughs> no. But this is the one I picked. For me, so far, this is the winner um, because there's so much gold in the room. Right now, this is all in the same ballpark, give or take a buck or two per tablecloth, okay? okay? Which is over our original budget. OK, how, yeah. how much over are we? on the budget. Our original budget for linens was $1,500. Now we're over that. Bye. Bye. Why don't you tell him, Funda? Uh, <laughs> oh. 2000 2000 yeah. We're oh. about double. 
Um, okay, but that's, that, that's news to me. But yes. it's just double, so whatever. <laughs> that's gonna be our theme. It's Honey, just you double. have expensive taste, okay? Well, you liked that one, and it's expensive. Well, double is less than triple, right? <laughs> okay. I, I've made the final decision, okay? Oh, oh, oh. Hang on, We're gonna hang on. sit He's for this. made the final decision. <laughs> About the final decision. linen, okay? Linen. About fabric. It's this one here, no overlay with the oh, dark have... chocolate chair. Oh, what do you think, hon? There you go. I think, honey, that we should do that one as number one and this one as number two. Do you really? I don't know. Okay. You better make up your mind before Spiro does it for you. This is worse than shopping for shoes. She, <laughs> she just can't make up her mind about anything. You have to make up your mind here. We've already changed linens mm -hmm. once. Yeah. I don't want to change them again. I don't want to be coming back here again and changing linen and linen and linen. So let's just make up your, your mind. My man. If it was a year and ago, we could think. No more thinking. Wedding's coming just soon. Doing. I like this. Okay, if you like this, it's done. You like this. When I'm sleeping, I'll probably dream about the other one I should have chosen. <laughs> 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 okay. I wanted to have Spiro as involved as possible with, you know, planning the wedding, so I wanted to drop by. I wanted to show you something. What's this so pumpkin what do you think? thing? Huh? Looks like a pumpkin. Do you even know what it is? I don't know, like a carriage or something? A carousel or whatever it's called? No, but do you know what it's for? All he knows is that it's going to cost him money. Are the envelopes? Yeah. Isn't it cute? Yeah, that's nice. They had other ones, like with crystals all coming I don't need down crystals. Here. No, no crystals. But I like this on its own. I think it's really pretty. No, this is nice. I like this. How much? Huh? How much? Uh, about 150. 150? Yeah. For a money box? Yeah. This is the same place we got our invitations from. Yeah? Well, well we spent an arm and a leg on the invitation, so she has to do something better than 150. That is better than What's the, regular the original price. For this price? Thing? It's like 200. 200 bucks for a money box? Yeah. Are you serious? Let's hope more than $200 gets put in it. Are there any other options? You just bring me the most expensive one? No, I didn't just bring mm. you the most expensive Go. one. Oh, I like that. It's traditional, it's like, it's comfy, it looks nice. It's Yeah, it's comfy, it looks like a pillow. Yeah, that's what I like about it. How I much is this one? 50. That's what I like to hear. So why don't we just stick with the 50? No, it's too plain, like there's nothing to it. She should give us a better deal. She is giving us a deal, this is what I'm so saying. So see if she can do, do this. Go back when you get a chance. When you get a chance, go back. You don't understand. We can arrange when it. When she can rent it for 200, she's not gonna give it to me for less than half. 75. Cash. Yeah. Or take it out of your pocket, the rest. Fine. My pocket is your pocket. 75? Max? 100. Done. Okay? Have a good day. I'm going back to work. The money box that we actually ended up getting was a nicer box, and we got it for an extremely good price. Thanks to me. Dress shopping was a lot of fun. A little bit difficult, though. I finally ended up narrowing it down to two dresses. I was surprised she even got down to two dresses. What do you guys think? It's nice. Oh, it's beautiful. You look like a princess. Princess dress, huh? I don't How know if I like it? princess, really. How does it feel? Tight. Tight? Like your budget? Wow. But I'm, I'm thinking, I don't know if I like yeah, I'm not this. Sure. I'm not sure if I like that either. You know what I mean? It's like, I don't know. Turn around. And it like kind of hangs after that, I don't know. It's the back. The back is gorgeous that. too. It looks like a big bubble. Like I don't know if I'm feeling the big bubble look. So how much is it? Don't worry about the price yet. <laughs> Just tell me. This is the first one. Okay. I want to see the other Number two. Number, number two, two now. Okay. Yeah. Something tells me number two is going to be a little more expensive. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> Funda, it is beautiful. That's it, Funda. This one? That's, that's, that's a dress. That's a you dress. That's a me it's dress? definitely you. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. It <laughs> doesn't even compare to the other one. You look like a statuesque. That you ask? Yes. <laughs> well, maybe Sparrow will turn to stone when he sees the price. Love it, love it, compared to the, the other one, right? But what's the price of it? Can or... you afford it? 
<sighs> it's a little bit more. Well, how much it's more? a little bit more. What's a little bit? Uh, like 2,000 more. Little. Uh, oh, holy that's wow. That's like almost double your budget. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Like, do I want to spend 2,000 on a dress that you don't I don't love. really like or and you know what? Double not... it and, and love the dress I'm in. Oh, well, yeah. Can we try it on with a video? Yeah, sure. It's gorgeous. Oh, this Funda. feels so weird. This one is almost <laughs> double the dress. Yeah. Um, that's like a big difference, right? Have you talked to Spiro about it? Mm, no. Why don't you call him? Do I have to? <laughs> Maybe you should. Maybe he's sleeping. You better hope he's unconscious. I'm so nervous. I'm afraid of what he's going to say. <laughs> well, if it's double the... Hi. Hey, babes. What are you doing? Nothing at work. At work? Yeah, what's going on? Making lots of money? I'm making, yeah, trying to pay off this wedding. Yeah. I found a dress. Okay. And I love it. Like, love it. I love it. Okay. And it's a little bit more than what I anticipated paying. Yeah, how much more? Uh, like 2000 more. So, like, double than what you wanted to spend? Yeah. Honestly, you can't, like, find something within their price range? I, I can, but I'm not going to love it, and it's not going to look fantastic. I don't know. Anyway, I, I just don't have time for this right now. I just want to get back to work. Just call me later, OK? So is that a yes? Oh, do whatever you want, OK? I don't care. All right? Are you mad? No, no, it's OK. I just want to get back to work. I'll talk to you later. OK, fine. All right. Bye. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. His jaw is going to drop when he sees you. Mm -hmm. So the extra money. Who cares? <laughs> You're going to be a beautiful bride. I don't want it to be a money issue with you and Spiro. I don't want you guys to start off stressed out about the gown. And it's your night. You love it. I will pay for the dress. You look so beautiful in it. Oh, I can't let you pay for the dress. Yeah, you need to have this dress. Brenda, it's too much. You deserve to have this dress, and we want to stop looking. <laughs> Aww, thank you. <laughs> You had to love the one that was $2,000 over. What can I say? I have expensive taste. See? Coming up. Do you have a budget for your flowers? Uh, <laughs> yes, we yes. do, actually, is the answer. There should be no pause there. We had the standard canned, please repeat after me, <laughs> vows, which was fine because the last thing I needed was learning lines. When planning your wedding, the number of decisions you have to make may just blow your mind. You have to make up your mind here. We've already changed linens once. Yes. I don't want to change them again. I don't want to be coming back here again. This is worse than shopping for shoes. She just can't make up her mind about anything. And later, we'll let you know if Funda made up her mind or just blew up her budget. Along with the linens, the centerpieces were also very important. I mean, I wanted our guests to be fighting over the centerpieces. Thank God I wasn't there when you picked them up. <sighs> What's this? It's uh, the new table linens. How do you like them? Um, let's start with how did it happen? Like how? Well, I ended up going back to the linen place. After our meeting. Yes. Where we picked our linen. Yes. And then... mm -hmm. Just to see. Okay. Now I'm doing the chocolate satin chair covers with okay. the chocolate satin napkins. So we went, we got new linen, and what is the price difference? Um, I'm not really sure yet. What did they tell you? Uh, $600. You were going to spend $600 on satin? <laughs> no! <laughs> No. Were you going to spend $600? I should have about? stuck to I don't know how much the napkins cost. Yeah. You should have stuck to your original budget. So that's over. So that's not in our budget. Mm -hmm. Because we were over on linens to start with. Mm -hmm. By, okay. like, by a couple thousand dollars, right? Only because I wasn't sure how much linens were going to cost. This is before I started pricing everything out. And did you look at this in the hall? No. No. OK. Remember we thought that your original one would you Work. loved it, and then we got right. it in the hall, and I was like, oh, wait a minute, this has nothing to do with the room? Yeah. This could have nothing to do with the room. If you love this one, then I love this one, because it's your day. <laughs> OK, moving on. Let's use this as our, as, as our dream. This is our double over budget linen, and what are we going to put on it? A double over budget centerpiece? I want to walk into my hall and be like, wow, and see all kinds of pretty things. I'll be there. What more do you want? There's pretty. <laughs> but we can't put a price on that, David. I can show you different options that we can actually place on it. Do you have a budget for your flowers? Uh, 
We have a budget. Yes, we yes. do. Actually, is the answer. There should be no pause there. So, do you Are have a budget? Keep yes. With it? Okay, go get us overpriced centerpieces, Anna. Let's okay. See how those look. Someone once said, "Go big or don't go at all." So now we're talking. Wow. Yeah. So if we did something tall on top of that, with the flowers that you wanted, hydrangeas and roses uh -huh. would be in the fifty to sixty dollar range. Now this is a reversible vase. <gasps> This would be 75 to 85 range. Um, uh, I have an idea. Yeah, empty Maybe. vase. <laughs> you can actually downsize your church arrangements. Yes. And make these fit idea. into the budget. Honestly, you know what? I've seen this style of vase done at way too many weddings. I must have gone to five this year, five last year, and almost every single wedding had this vase. And this but is look double. Yeah. Look at the two. You can't this. even compare them. Right? It's beautiful. Double, yeah. Yeah. That's not comparable. Okay, feel how heavy that is. <laughs> Let me see the other one. Wow, do not play vases. It's too late. <laughs> I, I, it's like high on a hill. Okay. But even happy. by looking at it, you can see the difference in quality. I hear what you're saying. And I'd rather sacrifice this linen for that one and have the nicer centerpiece. So we so we just got ten dollars back. So instead of eighty, this is seventy because we saved ten dollars. Saved. This is gorgeous. This makes the room. This, thank it you. It does. And it's great. Okay, centerpiece check, double the budget check. We'll almost double what Spiro wanted to spend. I didn't really have a theme for the wedding, so the more I tried to come up with something that really reflected both of us, I thought of fire and ice. Fire and what? Fire and ice. Yeah, I think it's very cool. In it's here. cool as in freezing cool. What are we doing here? We're gonna look for ice shot glasses, maybe some ice sculptures and stuff. Okay. <laughs> what are ice shot glasses and why do you want them? Okay, here's what I was thinking. I'm a Pisces, Spiro's a Leo. Fire and water. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Like candles all around. Romantic. Everywhere. And then ice shot glasses. <laughs> uh, you too can't, you, it, it's, it, it's too cold to form my thoughts because you, you can't introduce a theme like fire and ice after you've already chosen your all your decor and your linen and you, we're in a regal, you know, we're in a palace. They had fire and ice back then. <laughs> Let's talk about the shot glasses. Absolutely. Okay. I've just prepared a couple of shot glasses for you right now, just before we came in here. Wow, that's so cool. Really functional. They're great for the receiving line. Let me just clear off. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Come on, babe, it's not that bad, buddy. It's not that bad. These are your individual ice shot glasses. Aw, oh, come that's on. That's cool. What do you think? Do we have anything to put in here right now? Keep us warm? <laughs> um, it's cool, as in freezing. Yeah. But it has to be expensive. Not really. They're, uh, they're $2.50 each. That's not bad. Well, the freezing has gone to your brain. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah, is $2.50 times... Um, I think three fifty. So three... Okay, Miss Math in her head. 350 times 250 is... Well, 350 times 2 is 7. Yeah. <laughs> so so 1,050. I was actually hoping to have like a thousand of them and we could do it all night long. That's a cool idea. It's a thousand dollar idea. I bring idea. Jessica with me everywhere to do all my negotiating. <laughs> and I know I sound like the wicked. She'll also be having this conversation with Spiro. <laughs> okay, a couple things. One, I'm gonna get pneumonia from planning your wedding, <laughs> which is fine, because I'll do whatever it takes. But um, <laughs> we don't but have what? the money for that. We'll we just find it. find it. Well, you better start looking now. And how does Spiro feel about, like, where that money's gonna come from? How, where does he think he's gonna get an extra thousand dollars? Well, Spiro doesn't really know about it yet. He doesn't need to know. It's a surprise. He will love them. Yes. So wait, you're not even gonna tell him before He'll the be like, ceremony? Oh, look, my wife ordered ice shot glasses. She's amazing. My wife had a secret meeting in a secret freezer to spend an extra thousand dollars that I didn't know she was spending. Anything to do with alcohol, he's gonna love. We don't have the money. So I'm not saying they're not worth two dollars and fifty cents. I'm saying that a thousand extra dollars is not in our budget. No. David, work your magic. Work your magic. My magic is having you not go into your wedding bankrupt. Spiro's <laughs> words to me yes. were, if you can pay for it, then get it. Okay. So I will pay for the ice shot glasses. But this is coming out of my personal pocket. 
So it's your gift to Spiro. Yes. Yeah, sure. That's what we'll tell him. If it makes you $1,000 worth of happy, then great. It does. Uh, make okay, her happy. that's all I need to hear. Oh, no. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> you had a personal budget? Well, I saw that there was room in our budget. Oh. So there ended up being room in there for me to get the eye shot glasses. So they didn't come out of your personal budget, it came mm. out of my budget. Our budget. Mm. Coming up. But we agreed that this was the budget we were spending. But now all of a sudden we're over, 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 and over. My list was very short. His list was very short. Just get my tux and yeah. well, and then make sure I'm there. It was safer that way. Yeah. When it comes to questions about your wedding budget, some answers should be clear and simple. Do you have a budget for your flowers? Uh, <laughs> yes, we yes. do. Actually, is the answer. There should be no pause there. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if this couple was able to steer clear of overspending. I took the girls for a belly dancing lesson. Um, I thought it would be a lot of fun and Maybe I wanted to ask them for a little favor. Okay, so it, you're gonna start moving your knees, bending them and straightening them. Just relax your hips. Okay, loosen up. Let everything go. And eventually your flesh, yeah. your flesh is gonna start moving faster than your knees, and you're just gonna let that happen. <laughs> like, so wobbly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Good. Side to side. And shimmy. Good. I no, you're doing it. You're doing it. Shake it all out. Shake it out. These are hip shimmies. Okay. And then we're going to do shoulder shimmies. So you're going to move one shoulder forward, the other back. Switch, switch, You're good at that. Switch. You do the hips, I'll do the shoulders. No, we're gonna and we'll just stand them. side by side. We're going to shake everything. OK, so these are shoulder shimmies. So we'll do some okay. of each. The best I can find. Yeah, that's good. So shoulders. Good. Now hips. And then straighten. I still can't coordinate that, but I'm trying. That's good. Push, bend. Oops. Oh, that's good. That's a good thing. It means you're really shaking it. Push, bend. Push, bend. This doesn't look like what you're doing, but good job, guys. Good job. I'm liking it. You know what? I just got the greatest idea. Yeah, what's that? I think you guys and me, of course, the whole bridal party should perform. No way! So like, you know now featuring Funda and her bridesmaids, woo! will come out like ding, 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 ding. That's very good. <laughs> I don't think so. That's not convincing I'm not me. making an idiot out of myself at your wedding. But you won't. Are you going to wear bra tops and all that stuff, too, in the Yeah, that one jacket? right there. Oh, we're going we're gonna to change? Yeah, I don't yeah. think so. OK, what if we did, like, private lessons? A few private lessons? No, yeah, no, I don't think no, so. no way. Not going to uh -uh. happen. No way. Only after Listen, it's not like everyone's, everyone's going to be watching you. It's going to be a whole group of us that go out. Yeah. How much are the lessons? Like, what are we looking at here? It's $100 an hour for one lesson. So, so four. Say, how many lessons? Maybe four. Yeah. Maybe yeah. four. Oh, maybe so yeah. is, that, is that a group lesson or? Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. Was Funda trying to shake up the budget again? <laughs> Sp yeah, no. Spiro will cover it. Why not? <laughs> Yeah, no. Why don't we get those girls to do it and not us? Yeah. How much is it for you guys to do it? To come in maybe, I don't know, what's the usual? Is it like half an hour or what? how does it work? So normally it's $250 per a dancer. And she comes in, she does about like a 20 minute show, does a little bit of audience interaction. And um, then I can come in and do something different with a prop, like a shamadan or a, a sword a or a cane, and then we can come and dance together, together yeah. and then bring you guys up. <laughs> okay. Does that sound That good? sounds like fun. That's, yeah, no, I think they're the better choice, <laughs> by far. Never saying again yes to a Turk and a Greek. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Come on. Do you want to talk to Spiro first? Spiro, believe me, two girls belly dancing in belly dancing costumes, he's not going to complain. There's no <laughs> issue there. That's true. I'm really glad we hired the professionals. I mean, I think we could have taken 500 belly dancing lessons and we still wouldn't have been as good as them. So we had a really good time. I'm glad you hired the professionals too, because I really, really did mm -hmm. enjoy that show. I'm sure you did. Really did. Yeah. We're here to determine exactly where we are in the budget. Find out if we're over, under, and or if there are any surprises. Are you yawning? Yeah, sorry. 
The budget is not something we're going to yawn about because I actually know the figures, and with a very few exceptions, we are over on every single line item, which is I know is not a surprise, but it may be a surprise how much over we are. Wait, wait, stuff. on every single item we're over? Except for maybe two or three. We'll start with what we're over the most on, flowers. How for much are we over by the flowers? A thousand dollars. And how come? Why? Are they like some special type of flowers? Do they talk to us? Yes. For that price, they should sing. So how much does Spiro know? Like, is this news? A lot no. of this stuff is news That to sounds me, yeah. like it's news. Remember, we chose the new vase and... New vase? She said, oh, I just rearranged certain things. And there was some rearranging that went but on. But not but there was also thousand some dollar overage. There was, it was basically the upgrade of the vase. All of a sudden, you're not yawning anymore, so that means we're, we're not yawning. We're, we're, we're ready to jump out of this window right now. So it's not bad. Everything's because. my doing. Because, well, the linens were over. Yeah. We were over before we went over we on were, the linens. The linens were started from the beginning. We were over. Right. We, I'm, I'm okay, whatever. The linen, linen, happen is done. Photography. This well, is a $5,000 thing, right? Yeah, okay. the videographer and photographer, 5300 yeah, I know it's a little bit expensive, but you pay for what you get for, and these guys are really good. I totally agree. But we are over. Yeah. Okay. Um, the ice shot glasses. Oh. Here we go with these things again. Are you sensing that there's not a lot of love for the ice? Just... I don't think Spiro is warming up to the idea. I glasses. told you, if the ice right. shot glasses come, I'm just gonna throw them. Looking well, forward the good to news that. is the Greek side can break something and it won't be glass. There you It'll go. just melt away and no one will get hurt. What can we do? We could not have the shot glasses. But if she wants them, we'll throw them in. Amazing. So what's that figure? Oh, bankruptcy. Thanks, Thanks. 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 Yeah. <laughs> is there anything you haven't told me about? Um, Speak now. So we, Any surprises? That's it. Actually, there are extras I forgot to tell you about. Now. Namely? I bought a ring pillow, basket, personalized cocktail napkins. Aren't so on the budget. More, 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 more. Hmm. But so, Funda like, paid for those. Right. But Funda's money is yours. Money that's what, that's what I'm trying to explain to her. Yeah. My money, your money, your money, my money. She just likes to spend more of what I have in the bank, but life goes on. The budget he gave me yes. is from his what's coming from you. Yeah. So I'm not part of that. So if I want to go out and buy something. But no, no, no. But we agreed that this was the budget we were spending. But now, all of a sudden, we're over, 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 and over, and over, 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 and over. It's all my fault. No, it's not all, not all your fault. I'll say 90% of it's your fault. Nice. Um, I don't want to hear any more dum, percentages. Dum, da, dum. I just want to go home right now. I just want to go to my honeymoon. I just want to go shopping. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I just want to go buy things. As much as I would complain and bicker about the budget, in reality, all I wanted you to do is Enjoy your day and have the day that you wanted. Aw, thanks, honey. That's it. You're so sweet. In terms of adding in the cultural elements to our wedding, the Greek portion of it was taken care of with the Saganaki station, and we decided to add in some Turkish delights for a little bit of the Turkish taste. We're going to we get doing? Turkish delights. I guess we're going to sample some. If we like it, we're going to make little favors to put on each place setting. Party favors? Yeah, like party favors. But they're not like, well, like the bubonetis, right? No, in okay. addition to the bubonetis. Do we really need this? Yeah, I think it would be nice. They're just going to sit like this, though? No, no, no. no. Gonna We're going to actually wrap them. They're not going to be individually wrapped like that. So wait, wait. Who's going to wrap them? We are going to wrap them. So make sure you understand that you and the girls can do this. And I yes, have no me and the girls can do this all by ourselves. That's, 375 of them. That's, that's fine. no problem. It's okay, so now what's the cost on these things? <laughs> let's find out. Well, let's taste it first, see if you guys like it. Okay. And then we'll that sounds good. do the cost. Hi. Do we just open one of these and yeah, eat them? You can choose whichever. Okay. It's not going to be these. Okay. Not going to be the pink one. No, 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 this one. Okay. This one. This is Malvin with pistachios. But there's no, no ice and sugar? No. Can you guys make them with icing sugar? Um, yeah. And How then, small would you be able to make them? That's the smallest. I guess you're gonna be doing lots of cutting. <laughs> cutting from the budget, I hope. So this is the size. This is amusing. Okay, well. I'm not cutting anything. <laughs> okay, we're gonna wrap we're gonna them the wrap way we wrap them like this them. and leave them like that? 
Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Like, how much is it going to cost? Do you know? Have you um, spoken? There, it's all five ninety nine a pound. Five ninety nine a pound. A pound. Wow. So now for three hundred, we'll say for three hundred and eighty. How many pounds do I need? <laughs> a lot. <laughs> So since I'm buying in such a big volume, can't you just get a better deal? We can give you a deal. That's that's what I like to hear. <laughs> we can give you four fifty. <laughs> okay, fifteen pieces in one pound. Yeah. Right? Yeah. How much was it? <laughs> how much was it? Mm -hmm. Zero. Yeah, no, here, so much was it? Pieces. What is it? It's two hundred and twenty-five dollars. Two hundred and twenty-five. They're really good. We're just gonna go with the one like that. Okay. And we'll do it that way. Okay. Yeah, done. What? It's okay. We're just gonna go with the one, what? and then you can wrap them and do whatever you have to do. Okay, so you grab a knife, but you cut them all. You're the one that wants to do this. I don't want to do them. this. Okay, you know what? I'll speak to the master who makes these delights and ask them to roll them smaller, so that that way we get about the same amount in two pieces. That okay, way so you're happy. That way you're happy. So technically, we're making one piece into two, mm -hmm. right? Which is now. Cheaper. That's much better. That sounds good. That's better. 112, 112 bucks. I'm happy. Plus the ribbon and the cellophane. So whatever. That's another say 50, 60 bucks. Or like 150. No, 50, 60 bucks. Dollar store. Dollar store. Dollar store. <laughs> For this bride, it's a two dollar store. So we're set. We have the Saga Nike table and Turkish delights. Sounds All right. good. Perfect. Coming up. Hey, she's crying. Can you give her a second thing? Look I need up. tissue. Look up. Look up. No, you're good. Yeah, you can. My limo pulled up before his. So I was kind of worried there. Is Roger still coming? Is he going <laughs> to show up? So it was like, OK. And he did, five minutes later. When paying for your wedding, remember, it should be a combined effort. My money, your money, your money, my money. She just likes to spend more of what I have in the bank, but Life goes on. And at the end of the show, we'll let you know if sharing the bills led to twice as much debt. I woke up in the morning feeling great. Everything was going fine, and I broke down. I broke down in the chair, getting my hair done. Thank you. Now it's hitting me. Now it's oh. okay. No, oh I don't God. cry. I what are you talking in, I about? I in the eye by accident. <laughs> it's all the hairspray. It's like making my the, eyes water. It was an accident. <laughs> Why, it's just over. No, uh, it was a mix of emotions, so many different things happening. Ended up going to my house while I'm getting my makeup done, bawling again. This was uh, your grandmother's, and it's something old and blue. And um, I don't know if we should pin it to the inside. That's not the time to I just, cry. I just found it too. She was like, where is it? Don't cry, your makeup's gonna run. Well, Funda fought to hold back the tears. It seems Spiro had a hard time getting out of bed. My morning started off, uh, well, late. If it wasn't for one of my ushers, Armin, I probably would have. Yeah, never heard woke you up. slept in on your wedding day. Wow. Yeah. It's a big day, bud. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Tava, what do you want? Rings in your pocket. Yeah, so you don't forget them. <coughs> you have your rings? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna do okay. the oh, do I need them now. Hey, hey, don't move, eh? Pista, pista, pista. So I'm feeling uh, a little bit shaky, but uh, other than that, I just wanted to be a good day and a uh, great party, and that's about it. But before the party begins, the boys need to tackle their boutonnieres. I honestly have no clue what I'm doing. Okay, Holy cow, leave, 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 leave. my little boys. You hit, you hit that? Yeah, that's right. And you put it back in. in a... Yeah, but it has to go through first, right? Who's gonna put mine on? It was great my morning. It was it was fun. A bunch of the guys hanging out, having fun. Well, boys will be boys. <laughs> Meanwhile, time was running out while Funda put on the final touches. We're just gonna get it. Mark? Tighter. Tighter. Tighter? Yeah. Is that tight enough? It doesn't feel tight here. Wait till your wait till your dress gets done up. The boys arrived at the church on time, but where were the unity candles? And where was our bride? My best man forgot the labadas, the unity candles, at, a, at his home, so we had to send someone to go get those. Funda was running quite late. Any news? Any news from uh, the bus or anything? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah, they're on the way. The bus is outside? Yeah. No, it's not outside. It's on the way. OK. It's very close. How close is close? Oh, it's very close. 
Okay, how, about how long do you think? Okay, less than five minutes, right? Just know that you're gonna walk off and walk straight down the aisle. Okay, thanks. Well, at least the candles arrived. Let's just hope our bride shows up. I was freaking out because on the bus, again, I start crying. Well, I was waiting for 20 minutes. Well, you know what? Yeah. Okay, she's crying. Can you give her a second? Thanks. Hey, I need up. tissue. Look up, look up, look up. Oh, honey, don't. Deep breaths, deep breaths, deep breaths. I don't know what to, can you help me with my tears first? Yeah, of course. I don't know where to. No, you're good. You're good, just breathe That's in through fine. your nose. And out through your mouth. Keep looking up. Just relax. It's okay. Oh no, I can't No, you're stop. good. Yeah, you can. You've already stopped. Breathe in, breathe in. Okay. Finally, the tears were under control, at least until our bride got to the aisle. When I turned and saw Funda down the aisle, in my mind, all I just thought was just that, that heaven sent me an angel. That's so nice. Just before walking down the aisle, my father gave me a kiss, and I was like, oh, it, it just, I couldn't stop crying. Like, that was so hard for me. You OK? She's emotional sometimes. The ceremony was so amazing. I mean, every aspect of it is really, was beautiful. It's very symbolic. It's just the union between two people, and it was unbelievable. Coming up. Our wedding day was interesting. It was relaxed, it was fun, and I don't know, it was a it was a it was a good party. When it comes to your wedding day, you can count on your planner for the basic necessities of life. Oh, no, I can't. No, you're stop. good. Yeah, you can. Amazing. Okay. Hey. Soon we'll reveal if this couple was able to breathe new life into their budget or if it just vanished. We always talked about that wow factor that we wanted. When we walked into that hall, we were just floored. It was beyond what I had even pictured. Wow. 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 Oh, look at the cake. Hang on. Go like I want to see it from the other end now. <laughs> just broke the television. Yes. You happy? Yes. Yeah. Speechless. And perhaps penniless. I don't think it could look any better. The setting was perfect, but was the entrance going to be grand? Oh, no, so nice. He shouldn't have done that so soon. He should have played the music yeah. while no, it's he was good. Oh, that's why he did that. Walking we out there, it. seeing all those people, dancing. doing our little yeah. dance, you know. Our bridal party coming up dancing with us. It was, yeah. it was fun. It was great. It was a lot of fun. The food was delicious, the ice shots went down smoothly, and the guests danced the night away. Oh, what can I say right now? I'm feeling like a million dollars. Exactly. Like a, I'm alive. I'm on cloud nine it right now. absolutely amazing. The best time it was that the hall ever... Perfect. Every, perfect. Oh, perfect. I, just, I just want to say that it was the best time ever. It may have been the best time ever, but will they have the best time with the bill? The original budget we handed in to David Connolly was $20,000. Ice shots in the luge. Were they part of the wedding? No. Did I want them? No. Did people love them? Yes. Actual cost? $1,075. The DJ and the belly dancers were absolutely amazing. The belly dancers looked hot, and the DJ did a great job. The total cost was $2,000. David, our wedding planner, awesome guy. When we met him, we loved him. His actual cost was $3,000. I loved my dress. I think I wanted to wear it the entire weekend. And the cost of the dress was $4,000, and my mother bought that dress for me, so it was free. Our videographer, photographer, did an awesome job. We loved everything they did. Their cost was $5,600. 
When I walked into the hall, I loved everything, from the backdrop to the linens to the centerpieces, flower arrangements, it was perfect. I couldn't have pictured it any better. Their total cost was $8,200. Our venue outdid themselves. When I mean from, from the food to the antipasto table to everything, like it was just phenomenal and amazing. Every, I could not ask it for anything else. Actual cost was $46,000. And that was a gift, once again, from my parents and my, my in-laws, and I just want to thank them. Our additional costs, such as the limo, the cake, the Turkish delights, came to a total of $11,100. Our actual wedding cost $30,975. Which brought us over budget by $10,975. What are you, counting pennies now? Yes, and 33 cents. Come on, was it worth it? Ah, uh, yes. That's right, it was. Whatever. Not eh. The ice shots were a hit, the belly dancers have shaken, and the Saganaki was up in flames. The only question left is, do glasses made out of ice stick to your tongue? Then I was more budget conscious. Now he's uh, the finance minister. I am more budget conscious then, then and, and now. now. <laughs> I am the money person. Yeah, I spend it. Yeah, I don't. Ah, that's gonna leave a mark.